Honestly, the last hack he had was fear in Morse code on SarGG. Yeah. <laughs> All right, the Steve. That's definitely a, a pre preferable Three, matchup. Two, one, go. <laughs> yeah. Well, big shout out to Twan. All right. Good luck on your match. Oh, all right. Little uh, little tomahawk blizzard action going on there from D tier. Oh, throwing him off stage. Getting caught in that ice. All right. Not looking so good for Fear so far. Big damage from D tier. Playing the matchup pretty well. Boom! Big pickup from D tier. Wow, impressive first stock. Up an entire stock. The damage output of this character is underrated and so crazy. Boom, little back here, all right. Already at 34, oh, 34 right back. Big diamond combos here, trying to read with an F smash. Not quite this time. Big back air, only gonna hit the following mana climber. All right. You got, whoa, oh! Throwing that pickaxe all over the place. This diamond's doing some damage. Can't run away quite fast enough, man. Steve is just slow. One of the slower characters in the game. You find it kind of struggling, even against a character like Ice Climbers in certain situations, like that bursty little tornado blizzard move. Breaking down the blocks. Uh-oh, throwing him off stage. Let's see if he can get the edge guard. Nope, not this time. Opting to try and get some more materials, build another diamond. Only at 58%, so not a bad choice. Oh, I'm surprised that made it through, but it is Diamond Pickaxe after all. Nice. That was a good pickup, but I'm surprised Popo's living right now. Good back air. I mean, there's not much you could do right there. Maybe an air dodge would save him, but it's a hard situation. That was a good blizzard, honestly. Like, the tempo mix-ups on d -tier is pretty crazy. Oh, he dropped the combo. That could have been so much percent with the diamond. The parry into the back air. d -tier's playing this crazy. Blizzard, no punish from fear. Okay, a little punish there. Now you're 74%. Without hardly having to work for it, Steve, this character is crazy. Uh, barely missed that punish as well. Some damage. Okay. Missed a little kill confirm out of that blizzard. Wow, what an F smash! Incredible! Trying to break the blocks. All right, breaking the, uh, the crafting table as well. Good stuff. Wow. Oh, barely living with that air dodge. Pretty good. There goes Nana. Now it's just Popo. At 112. This, this is pretty close, but d -tier's had it pretty handedly over Fear so far. Hitting it with three different icicles. Oh. Barely missing with that. Both of them are just the micro spacing was pretty impressive. Oh, tried to read that jump. Cover that jump. Didn't quite work this time. Oh, got hit by that. He just committed to an option a little too soon and wasn't able to get out of it fast enough to escape the Minecraft minecart. Oh, those iron blocks are going to be a little tough to get through. All right, throwing some more icicles at him. Oh, there we go, avoiding the minecart. You know, you're seeing it, him narrowly avoiding the minecarts in this set so far, so I would be a little worried about that you know, from watching this in d -tier's perspective. I would be a little bit more proactive of those minecarts. V-Sync, not going to get much out of it. Oh, snuck that back air through. You know, that makes it a lot easier to do because Ice Climbers is a flow to your character, so you can really fast fall through those platforms and hit the back airs a little bit more accurately. It's a little easier to do versus someone like Fox. You know, you've got some fast frame data, but you've got to time it really well because you fall just so fast. There you go. That's going to do it. Solid, solid, solid showing in the first game for D-Tier. Taking game one. This is best of five. Crazy stuff. Honestly, a dominant game. I mean, if I'm D-Tier, I'm happy about it. This matchup is really, really bad for Ice Climbers. 
and he's playing it very well. Fear, you know, he's got to make some adaptions in this matchup. You know, you're playing a character who, I mean, you can switch up the way you play a nearly infinite amount with Steve. You know, you've got so many options when it comes to play styles and mix-ups and stuff like that. So he could definitely do it with this character. But let's see if he's got what it takes right now to take out DJ. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, wow. A little bit of Nana escaping action there. That was crazy. He's getting a little lucky, I must say. He's got luck on his side in this set. Boom, the get-up attack. That was smart. That was a very smart option. It's hard to follow what both climbers are doing when you're comboing them. You know, they've just, like, got to keep track of both of them or you're going to get hit by some weird little get-up attack or falling there while you're in the middle of the animation of a move for the other one. Oh, this could be death right here. Not quite yet, he air dodged away. Building a little bit of blocks, trying to get some more material. Little trade, neither of them are gonna die yet. Big back air, still living. It was only one climber that got that back air. He's gonna possibly re-grab, but he's staying away because he doesn't want to get hit by that up smash. I think the timer has escaped long enough now that he won't. There, he will have intangibility. Frames killed himself with the block. Wow, that's unfortunate for Fear. He was at 140%. You know, you can't be too bummed out about it. Get some damage going. Oh, big damage from the double up airs of those climbers. Grab. No tech from Nana. I'm not sure if you can tech that with Nana or not. I'm not sure how that works. It's so interesting. What a parry. All right. Threatening with back air. Nice. Okay, yeah. Just landed on the wrong side. Ended up getting F smash. Could have happened on either side, honestly. Jumping away from the minecart, getting hit with 14% from, I believe, a diamond. I didn't quite catch if he's got that yet. Missed the back air. He escaped. Wow. That is so crazy. The throw. No punish from the lead climber. Still no punish. He's getting away with a lot right here. This is Steve. Boom, boom. All right. Another solid lead for D tier. He's doing very well in this bracket. Or in this set, rather. Oh, a little F tilt. I wonder if he meant to fall through the platform there and do a back air. Wow, he got traded with minecart. That's unusual for a grounded move to do that, especially like an anti air. Oh, that's really unfortunate. I mean, to have your... I don't think he has a jump. Wow, no punish there. Okay. And he kills him. He could get some good extra credit on this stock with the Sopo. He's got a diamond going now. Now he's going to engage and try to kill this Sopo. You got 77%. Like, that's that's pretty good for you. But, I mean, how much are you going to be able to do? If you're someone like D-Tier, it's a lot. You're at 47% now. That's insane. This Sopo goes so hard. It honestly doesn't make much sense to me how he consistently is able to get extra credit in this capacity with such a bad character of just one Ice Climber and not both Climbers. No F smash there, not successful. Little blizzard, little chip damage. We got Cav joining me on the mic. Yo, what's up, man? Howdy, Cav. Howdy, All right, now for up air. Dude, this entire Sopo shot has been so clean. It's insane. Here. I was just saying how unreal it is, how he can consistently do so well with one Ice Climber, the worst character in this game. Oh my god, what a parry. He's just waiting for fear. Fear's getting so unreal. He's just waiting. See, fear's just wide yeah. card for it. That's true. Well, I mean, he'll, he'll take his time when he's mining, but once he's got the resources that he wants and he builds his diamond, he's going to engage, and he's not mixing it up as much as he could. The Sopo oh takes an entire God. stock. Wow. That Sopo was like at 47% when Nana died, and he just completely killed him on his second stock and then just drained his last stock. Yeah. Crazy I mean, stuff. I mean... I don't know. I feel like I feel like especially with I feel like especially with the amount of tools Steve 
has, the amount of stuff you can just trap. Yeah. Why are why are you forcing yourself to him when like yeah. he, he can't do anything? Right? right. Why don't you force him to approach a little bit more? Yeah. Why don't you wait back a little? Wait for Gear to do with something. You don't have to be the first one throwing one, out every move. And when Gear up 2-0, oh, we gotta see if Gear's gonna fix that or if Gear's gonna take a nice 3-0 in the second one. Yeah. I was just saying earlier, you know. D tier, you know, he's been a little 50 50 in the first game dealing with the minecart, so that's something to watch out for. But we're not seeing a lot of minecarts forcing D tier to react and pick an option. We're seeing him run at him, and then maybe in disadvantage, he'll pick a minecart. Oh, okay. we're picking up some, com wow. some combos here. Oh, man, it just air dodged and killed herself for no reason. You know, that's that's how it goes sometimes the nan attack. Yeah, unfortunate. And, you know, we saw a good soap in the last game. Boom, big up air. You know, it does a good amount of damage. Wow, what a nair. That nair was crazy. All right. At this point, like, you really should be camping the Sopo out because, like, oh, okay, yeah, unfortunate, unfortunate. Yeah, one, one too many up airs, there was no way to come back there because you didn't have a second climber and no way to rise on the side route. Oh, we're going to see an up tilt combo coming off from here. Boom, forward throw. Okay, still looking pretty solid, all right? Not quite in the lead. Deer has the lead right now, but D tier is he's still playing pretty well. Big Steve combo putt. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, and especially, like, especially with a character like Steve, Fear is piloting into a, a much greater degree than we were seeing last game. He's waiting back, waiting for D tier to come in more, and he's getting a lot more openings. Steve openings Boom. get so much more sense than people are dead sometimes, and now up for Stocks to one wow. Gonna get the combo starter and already 37%. Up till, up till 37. And we're just seeing him. Just Living good DI, wow. Seeing him wait. We're seeing him not running as much as that last game, and he's getting so many more openings because of him. Good parry, yeah. He's playing this extremely well compared to the last game. There's a big back end, and he's gonna lose that first stock. But you are still Steve with diamonds with and diamond. the entire stock up of your opponent. This he's got so much resources. Uh, Blowing yourself up 16%. This is a yeah, pretty good trade, though. It's a very good trade. 72 Absolutely. Oh, make him run into that TNT. Wow. Yeah, that was really smart by here. Setting it up, waiting for Heat here to finally run in, you know. Setting something up like we were talking about with Heat's resources. He has so many tools to set things up, and this is already looking so, so good for Heat here. Oh, there we go. So much Such damage. Especially when Steve's on so it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and Nana just air dodged off stage, and it just didn't work out. As well that time. Easy Dog says, Cav, how are you? Dude, I'm doing great. Mic number two is really low, they no. say. I don't know how to turn it up. Um, I don't know either. These are generally just for the headphones, yeah. right? Uh, let's try this a little bit. Let us know how this is in the chat. Maybe get it a little closer. Say something. Hello? Is that any better? Is Cav's mic better? I just don't want to be like breathing into the microphone. Much better, they say. Okay. All right. We got it. Now I can hear you. Hi, Cav, Hi, says Peter. Peter, Peter you're right. the GOAT. You should be here commentating with us. We've got Munch, I love feet, heading in the game for here. <laughs> Last game was a great game for Fear. We saw him back. We saw Boom. Him more. Big damage. An advantage for Fear, but an advantage for Peter. You're already 65%, wow. 76% now. Stuck in the Unanswered. Oh, not anymore. A little 10% chip the damage Yo from Mama my curse. cart. The Yo Mama curse is real. Waiting back now, and this is all he has to do. You really, you don't want to approach a character like Steve. He's been waiting back and forcing Fear to approach him more. But you know, Fear waited back more in that last game, and we just gotta see Fear stay patient. You have something like you know mine. You have neutral beam. You can just wait back, get materials for free. There's no reason that you have to approach. Yeah, you know, like I mentioned in the first game, these mine carts are kind of catching D tier off yeah. guard in certain situations. You know, it's almost like he's not ready for it. Where Fear is placing it. <laughs> yeah. And so if he starts to rely on them a little bit more, it could do really well for him. Yeah, and we're we're seeing good minecart movement. We're seeing here not forcing advantage as much, but that was so committal, such a committal F smash. No reason to go for something like that. Oh, and little fistful. Down, down a whole stock D tier, 69% on his first stock. Fear with diamond, but you don't want to burn all these resources too fast because we've seen how fast D tier gets in and how much advantage they he'll really turn it to. Yeah. He, he's gotten in just one or two times and you're Ooh. almost gonna kill percent or you end up dead. Great F smash from Fear, not dead just well, yet. Well right over his head, there's another minecart. We're gonna see another dash. And it's still living. 
Getting a little breathing room here. Up B to the ledge. No minecart this time. Nice. Oh, wow. I'm nice. surprised. Nice. No up smash. Barely missed that micro spacing. Huge damage coming out from E tier, 58%. And he's just waiting oh. back. Oh, gonna lose the AI there. Still living. Wow, she actually lived. That's no crazy. Way. I wonder if she just has less damage on her than the main climber does. She has to because there's no way, especially because she takes more right. damage than the base climber. There's oh, no sweet. way. You know, but the thing is about the mine, uh, or sorry, the oh, animal. And he gets big the forward he gets smash. The ledge trump F smash. The AI, that was the, oh, the, the, the AI, AI ledge trump. trump. I, I've seen that before. Wow. Impressive. What a good that trick. That is such a good setup. You know, the thing is, like, Steve, when he's on the anvil like that oh, and it hits, it does a lot more damage in knockback, or knockback specifically, but he had jumped off of it, so it wouldn't do as much knockback as you normally see it do, because oh, he yeah. jumped off of it. And 15%. The, the AI getting comboed here a little bit, going to take some damage, but Fierce 64% in D tier is just off of the races right now. Just really up in Fierce's face. 66. Ooh, big hit there from. damage on Banana, though. And if you can kill Mana here really early and get like a cheese stock on Popo, this is more than winnable. And Absolutely, the there it gone. is. And we just saw so much damage immediately rack on that second percent. Yeah, we've mana. seen the Sopo do some work, but Fear is using these mine cards now, and there's not much that Ice Climbers can do to deal about to yeah, deal with those mine cards. And now look, he's just waiting, getting his resources. There you back. go. He's taking the opportunity. Even if DTR is up, he's only on Sopo. There's no threat here, and he can build up for this next stock and take advantage whenever DTR does something to the middle. Right, he's trying to scout his hits safely. There's another mine cart. It's just nearly uncontestable with a Sopo. Okay, there you go, jumping right over it. Perfect timing. Trying to destroy these blocks. Do a little bit of safe pressure. Hit oh, by that again. There yeah, it is. The mine cart back there at 90% is going to do it every time. And he still has he still has his uh, his diamond tools, but he has another diamond in the pocket. Yeah, right now. that's right. Big damage, 41%. His pickaxe is gone. But he's still got the axe. He tried to read him with that S smash. Wow. Hit him with a little now chip both damage. These players on last stock, but fear getting another diamond. That minecart might be low percent, but everything else is brand new. All right, he's trying to get some more materials. He's camping. It's hard to contest this with another ice climbers. Another diamond. He has two diamonds. Wow. And now he's just Repairing waiting. his materials. Uh oh, he set himself up for that punish. Wow. Seventy-seven percent. This is. Now, anyone's game. We saw Dieter with such a big lead, 93 now, and Fear in it. Oh! Dieter stuck at ledge. Mana did do a directional air dodge for no reason, but the up B did correct her back. That was a little dangerous. Could have lost that secondary climber. Oh, big back air. Wow, Microspace it well to hit that in the minecart. And there's another big minecart. Offstage, this is a bad situation. Oh! Oh my gosh! Back air offstage, this is big! Oh! Tried to read him with the SMS. What a roll! That was a great option. Nana's dead! Oh! The extension! The extension with the crafting table! Wow! Back air pressure at the end, that F smash. What if that was something, yeah. something more safe? Those F smashes, after Nana died, it was so much harder to put pressure on, and that's what led to him dying. Now. Yep, that's right. You know, Fear is using Minecart a lot better, and D tier is struggling to deal with it. We are on the verge of a reverse 3 0 here. This is crazy stuff. This would be an upset. This would be an upset. Fear over D tier. Peter predicts that D tier is going to get an answer to the aggressive mind hearts. Yeah, I did see Peter in chat, especially talking about um, the, the ice blocks, and we're seeing the mind cards beat those out. D tier needs to find another way in. Maybe maybe going underneath, trying to find something, trying to call out the mind card, just wait underneath them, wait for an anvil, something afterwards. But we're going to see where this game five goes, and so far, it's looking real nice for Peter with an early 64% combo. Oh, wow. He's adapting very well, playing a lot better than he did in the first two games. Wow, that dash attack, good burst option. The ledge trapping is not going to... Okay, there you go. A little bit of damage, 29. No follow-up with the up airs. Desync action. Good parry. Good parry. Forwarders to destroy the blocks, but he's spacing him a little safer so he doesn't get hit by an F smash like he did in the last game. Destroyed. The crafting table. 
keep wanting to call it the enchanting table. The enchanting table? <laughs> I mean, it might as well be with the, um, with the knockback four that it gives him. <laughs> yeah, the, smash. the knockback four, yeah. Yeah, and we're going to see the down smash come out, and that's going to be first stock going to fear. And Ooh. B tier, you don't want to be. Lead. You really don't want to be at these deficits against, no. against Steve. Yeah, Steve can just tamp you so well. Oh, watch out for that. We don't want to land on that pressure plate. Steve, like, Fear was just not camping enough those first games, and now we've yeah. seen these last couple games, he's really just turned it up, and it's, it's working great. It's working favor. very well. And the minecarts, too, like, he's timing them pretty well. D-Tier struggling to deal with them. Great anvil parry. All right, just more camping. Those blocks. And that, this is why we say, this is why people say that this matchup is so bad, because once you set up those blocks, you start camping, there's not much that Ice Climbers can do. Oh, Nana barely oh. living. Can Nana come and save Popo? Oh. Not this time, because they were desynced. Yeah. So that's gonna send him into into free fall. Yeah. Not only that, she got stuck on the block and then yep. straight into free fall. It's not looking, looking so good. Real rough for D tier. Three stocks to one for fear. Yeah. Oh no, up smash. Okay. That's gonna be kill confirm. Oh, but oh off the block. He almost get him with that up air. Almost got him with a little F tilt down tilt. Wow, the oh, hitbox extension Nana's with the crafting table. This yeah, is, yeah, that's this unfortunate. Is, this is looking like a, a potential GG. You know, here can lose a stock here, but Boom. Fear doesn't Good have up, any more to lose. 81% on on Sopo, and Fear has diamonds. We we gotta see we gotta see a miracle here. Absolutely, he's done it on one stock earlier this set before Fear was playing as good as he is now. But I mean, he's in a rough spot. He's in disadvantage. Wow, yeah, he pushed him right into the crafting table. Or the, uh, the the pressure plate, my bad. Yeah, and we go reverse 3-0. Yeah. Wow. Take that set, reverse 3-0, game five. Wow. Let's go into fear. Oh, right. okay. So, so, for those of you in chat that may have not been